Mr. Steven! Hello, Dr. Carr. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Man, how about this rain, huh? When's it gonna end? No kidding. I hear the weather's gonna be a lot better by the end of the week, though, so hopefully we can finally get some sun. Well, let's hope so. So, what can I do for you? I have a coat hanger in my butt. What? I have a coat hanger in my butt. How did this happen? Well, doctor, I put it there. Shoved it right in. Why? Well, I was I was looking at it earlier today, and uh, you know, I, I decided that it would be better if it was in my butt. So, right now, you have a whole coat hanger in my butt. Yes. Well, that's uh that's quite a feat. That's definitely not the first thing that's been in my butt. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, I I don't mean to brag, but uh nearly every object in my house has been in my butt. Huh. It's not like a gay thing or anything like that. You just do it for pleasure? Oh, no, 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 doctor. This doesn't feel good at all. I have a coat hanger in my butt. At first, I had to start out with uh, smaller objects like cucumbers and silverware. Then I slowly worked my way up to large objects like lunchboxes and coffee machines. Wow. Many things have been up my butt, doctor. I'm addicted to it. In a perfect world, everything would be in my butt. Last week, my seven-year-old son walked in on me while I was trying to shove my entire laser disc collection up my butt. He asked me, Daddy, why, why are you doing this? I don't understand. I didn't know what to say to him. I, I realized that I'd become the man I never wanted to turn into. My father. I held my son in my arms and we, we cried together. And then I stuck him up my butt. Wait, what? You stuck a child up your ass? Yes, I'd never had an actual person up my butt before and I wanted to try it. So I did. I managed to fit my whole son in my butt. My God! Don't worry, he's okay. Though he, he doesn't really talk to me anymore, and he lives with his mom now. That's probably for the best. Yeah, anyway, earlier today I got a little cocky and stuck a coat hanger in my butt, and now I can't get it out. I guess it's the shape of it or something. It, it's just totally stuck in there. Alright, well, let's see if I can pull it out. Like I said, it's it's not sexual. It's just, we, we all have our own ways of keeping ourselves entertained. Some people go fishing, some people draw and paint. And you shove children up your ass. Yes. All right, so I'm going to need you to face that way. All right. All right, so you're going to feel a little bit of pressure. Nothing I can't handle, Doc. Yeah, I bet. All right, here we go. Yeah, see, I can barely even feel that. I've had way too many things in my butt. Okay, I see it. I'm going to try to pull it out. <clears throat> Damn, you're right. It's in there pretty good. Yep. <clears throat> Come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. Damn it. All right. Okay, all right. I'm on to something here. All right, I got it. I got it. Ooh. There we go. There it is. How do you feel? A little sore down there, but I, I think I'll be fine. I really recommend that you stop, uh putting things in your ass. It's really not good for you. So, you should stop this. Yeah? Yeah. Here, hold on. I'm gonna prescribe you with something that should take care of the soreness. Okay, so I wrote you up for some... Where did the coat hanger go? Really? <laughs>